Hello, it's Cookie, Cashman, Cutter, and welcome back to Colonial Plaza. Here for some Platypi Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. And today, the uh, starting for the 14 and 7 Platypi is Ace Von Aceson. He features a four seam fastball, two seam fastball, slider, curve, and change. With a 455 ERA, 138 whip, and 23 Ks on the year, his first pitch to Stockton Brickhouse is a ball just outside the zone. That's up the middle, base hit. Lend a hand out there in center today. Got Beefcake McStevens playing third. At shortstop, we got Kerry Cartman, second base Kitty Kaufman, first base Scooter Sandbrick. Muffin Studwick is in left field. Center field, as you just saw, was Linda Hand, and right field is Hera O. Wugliams. The 0-2 now, double play ball, 4-6, back to 3, double play, no, not a double play. They can only get one there, safe at first, fast runner at first, one out. And behind the plate today is Jude Harrell, as the runner is going, picked a good pitch to run on, and that's all the way into center field, Linda Hand's going to field it. Good backing up there. She'll keep the uh, base runner to second base. But what I was about to say, Jude Harrell behind the plate. He's no, known more for his uh, hitting than his base stealing. But, or sorry, his throwing out of base stealers. So there's strike two. Now full to Oakley Stiffs, the right fielder for the freebooters. And just past the leaping glove of Kitty Kaufman into right center field. And that's going to be an RBI double cruising into second base. Is the freebooter batter and that, or sorry, the freebooter right fielder. And it's 1 0 early here for the freebooters. Ball one to Guns Jackman, the shortstop. And foul. 1 and 1. Swung right through 97. And that's in the dirt. Good block by uh, Jude Harrell. The 2-2. Two -two. Couldn't get him to bite that time. 3-2. The 3-2 two -two pitch. Strike 3! He's a block of ice out there as he looks at Von Aceson's first K of the day. Two outs now. And now that's to Cartman. He'll backhand. Fire to first. And the inning is over. Damage is controlled. It's just one run for the Freebooters. On two hits, and we'll head to the bottom half of the first inning, where Kitty Kaufman will lead off against Angel Verde, who features a four-seam fastball cutter, slider, curveball, changeup, with a 4.10 ERA on the season, 133 whip, and 27 strikeouts. They are 10 and 11 on the year are the Freebooters, and strike one to Kitty, and she'll pop this one up, and. Not really shallow left center field, but left center field and caught by the infielder, the shortstop, Jackman, for out number one. And now that's yanked foul by Hera O'Wugliams. The 0-1 up the middle, base hit, and Hera O'Wugliams will get something going here with one out for the Potipi. We'll see if they run. Hera not known for her speed, but also the uh, freebooter catcher not known for their arm. Beefcake up, and it's 1-1 one one now. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball one high, and that's going to get through. On the on the uh, stolen base attempt, Harris steals it. Would have been dead to rights. But uh, <laughs> a, a muffed throw there, and she'll be safe. So now a runner in scoring position. And now that's hit to the right side, and it's not going to get through. Runs will make the play on a good diving stop. That saved a run right there, and there's out number two. And great play. We'll see if Muffin Studwick has been on fire, it seems like, all year. Uh, is going to step up, and now he has a 2-1 and one count in the driver's seat. 3-1 and one now. Angel Verde's 3-1 pitch. Just did catch a corner strike too. And now that's a line drive into center field, but caught by Brickhouse. So despite the one out hit and stolen base, nothing doing for the pot of in the runs department. And Von Aceson will head back out there. And that's a liner screaming frozen rope straight to Linda Hand though for out number one. Von Aceson got lucky there. Strike one left it right over the middle of the plate. 
And now Sambrick is going to feel that one bare hands, tosses uh, Von Aces in, and there's out number two. Here's Jermaine Reigns, who we were talking about earlier. Not the best of arms, though would have nailed uh, um, Hera in the, t in the uh, bottom half of the first had it not been for a, uh, a uh, muff by their uh, second baseman. The 2-2 now, grounder to Kaufman, show backhand to a right, fire to first, and there's out number three. So three up, three down, go the freebooters, and Scooter Sandberg will step in another, uh, Platobai will get, take another crack at uh, Verde here. Almost came across to score last inning, but couldn't quite muster anything. Ball three, three and one. And he's going to walk him on his in his first at-bat on uh, five pitches. And I'll bring up Linda Hand with nobody out. Strike one. Scooter on first average speed. And that's ball outside. And now that's line just foul one and two now. Runner goes. That's on the other way. That's going to be fair. Just past the diving, outstretched glove of the third freebooter third baseman. And that's a double. Scooter's going to get into third. Second and third with nobody out. Scooter was running on the play. Had to freeze because it looked like that might get caught. But luckily, it got through and he slid into third base. Letting Linda get a double there. And now that's up the middle. Base hit. One run score. Linda is going to be waved. No throw to the plate. And it is 2-1 to one Platypi. All set up there by the Scooter Sandbrick walk. Followed by the Linda Hand. A rocket double. And now runner on first with nobody out. Here's Jude Harrell. Strike one inside. They picked him up after the beginning of the season. Because he plays... Uh, his primary position is catcher. But... Can also play uh, some outfield, I believe. And now that's a liner. That's going to split the alley in right center field. And a run's coming home to score. And no th no relay to the plate. It's going to go to third. Jude stands at second with an RBI double. And now here's Von Asesen. Prepared to bunt for the bunt. Or the, is the defense. But that is walloped deep into center field. But caught by Brickhouse on the warning track. Tagging is Harold. He will get into third base. So it works just as well as a uh, sack bunt there. I'll bring up Kitty Coffin looking to get her mojo back. And now that's up the middle. Through for a base hit. A run's going to score. Kitty big uh, turn around first. But she will halt at first. A run will score. It's now 4-1. to one. Platypie in. Got to watch Kitty over there first. She has been picked off a couple times in the last couple of games. Trying to take a base. And now that's up the middle. Base hit. And Kitty will another huge turn around a bag. This one second base. But will stay there. And now runners at first and second for Beefcake McStevens. Who is locked in at the plate right now as he'll take strike one. Ball on a good uh, curve or maybe sweeping slider there and now that's launched deep at the warning track cut for out number two kitty was oh uh, was cut in between the bases but she's gonna get back into second base and now two outs for muffin studwick who will take ball one outside on a what looked to be a changeup and well outside on a pitch out there two and oh 3-0. Runners are going. And Muffin's going to wallop this one. It's going to get down. One run will score. They're going to wave in another one. It's now 6-1 as the relay comes into third base. Muffin Studwick there. With two outs. A 3-0 count was a green light with the runners going. And now it's a ground ball to Jackman. He'll fire first. And the inning will end after six runs put up by the Platypie. Everybody doing their job. We're heading to the top of the third now where Verde will lead off after just giving up those uh, six runs. 
He even gave up a pretty good shot to uh, Ace, and we'll see if he tries to uh, return the favor. He'll take ball one high. The one and two is strike. Three swung right through it. For out number one, as uh, Brickhouse will step in, he uh, singled his first time up. He's the center fielder for the Freebooters. The 2-1 pitch. And Kitty just passed her glove. Hera fields so fires quickly and just late. Good heads up read there by uh, Hera O'Wugliams. Just couldn't quite get it there. And you know if she couldn't get it there, probably no one else could. She's got a cannon out there in right field. Quickly, 0-2 now is Pump Dutchie. The pitch. Rocket into right. Uh, sorry, to left. It'll be a hit. Muffin will get it back real but get it back in really quickly and it's going to keep the runners at first and second here one out got to think uh if you're ace von aces in here just one pitch from getting out of this a ground ball is all you need here one two and that's what he'll get scooter fields fires to second the throw back to first on the money out number 3 so after some one out trouble Von Aceson will get the double play, and that'll end the inning. Good turn there by Sandbrick and uh, Cartman. And now that's popped by Linda Hand. Deep. Brickhouse tracking, and he won't make the play. Linda's going to have another double. No, she's rounding second. She's headed for third. Linda Hand with a leadoff triple. What a, what a batted ball there. She put a whole heck of force into that one. Now Carrie Cartman will step up trying to get her in. And he's going to go first pitch swinging a line drive straight to Dutchie. So can't get in Linda. And now here's Jude Harrell who doubled in a run his last at bat. And ball one high. Infield actually playing back at normal depth as there's strike one. And a curve walloped. That's going to get a run in. Brickhouse does... Does uh, grab it, but a run will score. Linda Hand scores to make it a 7-1 to one ball game. And Von Aceson will step up to the plate. And he's going to get a hit. Infield hit for him. Runs dove and it kicked off his glove into center field. And so Von Aceson doing everything today. Ball one high to Kitty Kaufman who got her mojo back. In their last at bat, there's a ball two inside. Scored a run too, as that's ball three outside. You know, when Kitty Kaufman's going, this whole team is going to be going. They really depend on her success. On the offensive side, the 3 2 pitch. That's a liner into center, and Brockhouse is going to play this on an angle, and it's going to get all the way to the wall. A run's going to score. Kitty's chugging for three. The relay is late. Kitty Kaufman a triple. Two triples in the inning first. Linda Hand, then Kitty Kaufman. This one's an RBI triple. It's 8-1, to one, Plata Pie. They are beating up on the freebooters. Strike one high. And out in center field, he is not f fielding these uh, balls correctly. That's lined down for a base hit into center. Brickhouse will get it in, but it's an, a two-out, two-strike RBI hit for Linda Hand. Sorry, not Linda Hand. Harrow Wugliams. My bad. And now Beefcake lays into one, but right at Brickhouse for out number three. And they are just beating up Verde. Guns Jackman is up, and he's going to try to <laughs> do something. Legs probably a little weary as is the case with probably all of his team. As they've had to be out in the field a long time. And now that's a little looper. And just past the outstretched glove of the diving Kerry Cartman. And that's going to be a base hit. Patience Evergreen will step in now. The pitch to her. Strike one. Strike two. Two triples in the top half of the inning. As that's strike three. On a good circle change, whiffed. A whiff job on that one. One out now, strike one. The 0 1, strike two. Going for the change again. Ball one, that one got outside there. 
The one, two, inside. Two and two. Two, two pitch. Will miss. The three, two. And he'll look at it, ball four. Had him 0-2 on the ropes, but ends up walking him there. And now Bad Hop Brown will step in. First pitch to him. He's going to rip into right field. And they won't advance home. They'll play it station to station. They know can't. Uh, O'Wugliams has a cannon out there in right. And now uh, Jermaine Reigns will step in. A great candidate for a double play. If, if uh, Aces can get him to ground it. And that's going to kick off the glove of Jude Harrell. But no advance. They started to all go. But then quickly and wisely went back. They would have been dead to rights at the plate there and that's up the middle base hit one run will score Linda Hand's gonna fire it in and they'll play his station to station again Sandbrick cutting that one off and now Rocky backstop will pinch hit here for the pitcher Verde he's a potential double play candidate if you can get on get him to hit it on the ground strike one 83 mile an hour changeup strike two curling back in again the one, two, and he's going to hit this one weekly. It's the second, one out, the first, just turned it by an eyelash. Double play, and we're headed to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Oh, my word. Bases loaded, jam just did get the double play. Is that strike one? Steamboat Whistle will come into pitch. He has a 178 ERA, 103 whip, and 27 Ks on the year. Features a four-seam fastball, two-seamer, and curveball. And that curveball is going to get walloped into center field. Brickhouse will be able to cut this one off. I think I was starting to say it last inning, but Brickhouse is just not quite taking good routes out there in center field today. Resulted into a couple of triples already. Scooter Sandbrick here now, and he'll take strike one, and they are hanging a ton of pitches, are the freebooters. Now, the bullpen is their strength here, so we'll see if Whistle can shut down the pot of pie offense the rest of the way. One and two, foul. Well, a Whistle and the rest of the uh, relief core. And late on that one, very late, is Scooter Sandbrick, and there's out number one for Linda Hand. With one out here, and she goes first pitch swinging, and it's strike one. Runner is going well inside, but it was a hit and run. And there's the out, and all going all the way to third, safe. Oh my word, going all the way to third was Muffin Studwick. He was running on the play. It was a little broken back nub, broken back number, and now that's up the middle base hit, and Carey gets an RBI on another submit mixer. So, great job of Muffin to get over to third. And then great job of a piece of hitting there by Kerry Cartman just to go right back up the middle with that one. And now here's Jude Harrell with uh, one strike. One and one now with two outs. 10-2 lead now for the Platypie as there's ball two outside. Strike two. Runner going. And that's going to miss low. The throw is late. So there's a stolen base there for Kerry Cartman. And now bat shattered on that one. The 3-2 will miss outside. Ball four. That'll bring up Ace Von Aces in. Ace one for two. And that, uh, that out that he had was hit a long way. With hurricane level force. The 1-1. One, one, and that's lying in the right field. Base hit. They're going to send the runner. And he's out at the plate. Kerry Cartman. They uh, they played it aggressive. And they, they made the right fielder make a great throw. And he did. What a play there. To end the inning. And now Von Aceson will get on the mound here quickly. One and one, ball two. The two one. Strike two. Here comes the two two pitch. Grounder, Von Aceson will field it. Throw to first, and there's out number one. So here's Pomp Duchy. Sorry, he Duchy. And strike one with one out and nobody on. Strike two. 
The 2 2 pitch. That's lined in the center. Linda Hand will field it on a hop, on a couple hops, and with uh, one out, now runner on first. Von Asison has been able to get out of some trouble early on. This That was just now his 70th pitch. The 10 2 lead. Now he's got a double play ball. Four, six, three. It's a double play. Great job by Kitty to stop it and get it over to Cartman quickly, who turned it. A perfect double play there. Now Kitty will lead off the inning after making a good defensive play there. The 0 1 hanger, and she's going to loop this one into right center field, and that is going to get to the warning track, and she'll get to second base. And they took their time fielding that one. It ended up being a barehanded try by Oakley Stiffs. Hero of Wugliam to 3 for 3 with 3 singles and an RBI. It's going to step in now. A chance to add another RBI here. And that's up the middle. But Runs will grab it on his backhand and fire the first for out number 1. Productive out. And now McStevens will step in. And first pitch swinging and he's going to drive this one deep. It's going to hit off the warning track and off the wall. It's going to be an RBI 1 out double. Try to extend it to a triple there. 11-2 uh, to two lead now for the Platypi, and they are just relentless today. Muffin Studwig will step in now, and there's ball one. The relief core is supposed to be what's best for these freebooters, free and we haven't really seen anything out of Steamboat Whistle that would really imply that, as there's finally a strike, 3-1, and one, and he's going to loop it into... Well, it's going to stay in the infield, and oh, base running blunder for Beefcake McStevens. It's a double play, and that'll finally end the fifth inning. So top of the sixth here, Guns Jackman will step in. He'll take strike one, quickly strike two. The 0-2 throws him, strike three. There's another backwards K for Von Asesen on a good changeup. Strike one. Quickly to Patience Evergreen now 0-2. The 0-2 swung and barely got a piece of that one. Von Asesen will quickly field it and fire to Sandbrick. And there's out number two. Walker runs up now playing second base. And he's going to immediately ground one to Kitty Kaufman who's going to field it and fire for out number three. Three up, three down for Von Asesen. And Scooter's going to lead things off here. He's over 2 with a walk. And he uh, struck out his last at bat I believe. 1-0. He'll get another crack at Steamboat here, who quickly goes 2-0 to him. And now that's ripped into left field. Stayed back on that big curveball. And just hammered it the other way. Great piece of hitting there for Scooter. And now Ryder McPride will step in to, uh, or sorry, will take the mound now. And he features a four-seam fastball, two-seamer, and changeup. He's got 16 Ks on the year with a 145 whip and a 523 ERA. The first pitch from uh, to Linda is ball one high. Strike one. Don't think we'll see Scooter running here with such a big lead. And that's up the middle. Base hit. Scooter is going to head for third. Brickhouse's throw is on the money. There's an out. Good piece of base running behind him, though. For Linda Hand, who will get into second base there. Now, with one out, here comes Kerry Cartman. Runner in scoring position. Ball one. And then now ball two outside. The 2-0. and oh. And that's hit high and deep. And Brickhouse will get under it here. And... <laughs> Linda Hand took, got to third and took a huge turnaround third. But we'll stay there. Now Jude Harrell with two outs here will take strike one. Chance to make it a 10 run lead. Ball one low. Checked his swing there. The pitch and that's hit into right field. Or sorry, towards right field. But uh, Ducci will make the grab before it can get there for out number three. Now at 78 pitches, and liner caught by Kaufman. Good snag for out number one. Jermaine Reigns, the catcher, will step in. Von Asesen looking for a quick inning again if he can if he can get it. But that's up the middle. Base hit just past the diving glove of Cartman. 
So now a runner on first. Ryder McPride will be pinch hit for by Cache Basquet, who has a 333 average on the year with a homer and three knocked in. The first pitch strike, one. And that's whacked foul. The 0-2 pitch, back foot slider, couldn't get her to bite there. And now 1-2 and two just off the corner, and now it's 2-2. Two and two. And that's lying into center field, but will hang up just long enough for Linda to make the grab. And there's out number two. And uh, Stockton Brickhouse will step in now with a runner on first and now two outs. 88th pitch coming from Von Asesen, and it's going to be a ball inside. 2-0. and 2-1 and one now. The 2-1 pitch popped up. That's going to get to center field, though, and Linda Hand will be under it. She called. Oh, no, she drops it. She drops the ball. The relay home is not in time, so a run scores. That's going to be an E8 there. Not what you want to see out of Linda Hand. Oh, my word. That was a routine ground ball. Now one, uh, a run already scored, and on that one, hit too hard to uh, get one in. Still three to 11. Now that's up the middle base hit. And Ace may be a little rattled now after should be after he should be out of the inning, but Linda just muffed it. As there's strike one. Two runs have come across after the muff in center field. And now 0-2. And that's a liner into left center field. And that's trouble. One run's going to score. They're going to wave another one in. The relay from Cartman is just late. It's now 6-11. to 11, And that's going to be the end of the day for Von Asesen. Hoping to get 9 out of him today. After how well he was rolling with that big lead. Hugh Jacobs will come in to pitch. But unfortunately... That error must have just rattled him a little too much. Now immediately a grounder to Cartman. He'll fire to first. And there's out number three. So some two out trouble. But first Grace Lupin, Lupinovich uh, will come into pitch. 503 ERA on the year. 203 whip. 15 Ks. And she features a four seamer cutter curve and change up. Hugh Jacobs will hit for himself here. It's his first bat at bat of the season. Now it's grounder, but fielded by Walker runs, and there's out number one. But yeah, some it, some two out trouble after it should be still eleven to two. Now the freebooters are a little more in this game. Katie Kaufman now one and one. It's just an error you can't make on a routine fly ball like that. Three and one. The three one pitch. Strike two to Kitty. The three two. And that's hung and in, into center field. And off the glove of Brickhouse. Kitty thought about going to two. And that but she'll stay home at first. And Harold Wugliams will step in now with a runner on first, and she's a speed demon over there. But uh another hanger, but this one caught by Brickhouse. For out number two. She's hung two pitches in a row now. And now here's Beefcake McStevens. Runner going. The pitch. Uh, a strike. And the throw. Not in time. Kitty Kaufman's got a stolen base. Beefcake's hit. And that's caught by the diving Jackman at shortstop. So nothing doing unfortunately for the Potapai. Despite the single and... Uh, Stolen base. Now Hugh Jacobs will come back. He pitched, or he needed just one pitch to get out of the uh, bottom half, or the top half of the seventh inning jam. And now that's going to split the gap just past the diving glove of O'Wugliams. Linda Hand will fire it back in quickly to uh, keep it to a double. And now runner on second with nobody out. Bad Hop Brown up, and he's going to pop one into right field. Fou well, foul though. Arrow Wugliam's not a chance on that one. And sorry, Hugh Jacobs forgot to uh, introduce his stats. An 84 ERA now 
with a 131 whip, 5 Ks on the year. He features a four seamer, a slider, and a curveball. And now on the 0-1 pitch, we'll get a strike on a big front door slider. The 0-2, ball one. The 1-2, grounded foul with a five run lead here. I don't think they're too worried about that runner on third, or, or uh, sorry, on second. Mostly just to get this batter any way you can. And Bad Hop has taken it to a 3-2 and two count. The pitch grounded to Kaufman. Weakly, she'll field in. Fire to first, and there's out number one. Here's Jermaine Reigns. And he'll take strike one on the outer half of the plate. Now that's lined. Studwick will field. He's going to throw it. Oh, man, it is not in time. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. I thought he had him. That throw was right on the money. Great uh, play by Muffin Studwick in left field. Sturdy Woodman with a 226 average, one homer, and four RBIs is going to pinch hit for Lupin, uh, Lupinovich. Oh, my word. I thought he had him, but they'll take the out for the... Even if, even though it means a run. And now another liner to Muffin and he will field it again. But that was played very well. The previous play was fielded very well by Muffin Studwick. Just did miss getting him at the plate. But K Freakman will come into pitch. Normally the closer. 245 ERA, 142 whip, 15 Ks. Features a two seam fastball and a screwball. And Muffin Studwick will lead off against her. She's a southpaw. And there's now quickly a one and one count. And <laughs> have to say, Hero Williams would be proud of that throw by Muffin. As that's hit high and deep. That's going back. And that ball is out of here. Well gone. A moonshot for Muffin Studwick. 401 feet well into the bullpen. His third homer of the year. 14th RBI. And they'll get that run right back. And that is demoralizing. For the Freebooters, what a hit there. Strike one to Scooter. Ball one inside. And that'll make up for, uh, even though he played that very well, he'll, he'll make up for uh, that run scoring. Three and one out of Scooter. And as I was saying, Hero Wugliams would be proud, as that's ball four, of Muffin Studwick's throw. That was a cannon. Straight out of her playbook. <laughs> Uh, now here's Linda Hand, three over four, a triple and two doubles. And yes, she did on the final scoring of that last, her last at bat, did get a double on that one. One and one now with nobody out, runner on first, and she's going to pop it to center. Under it is the center fielder Brickhouse, and he will grab it for out number one. Scampering back is Scooter. And now here's Carrie Cartman, who's had a good day so far. And he's going to line one. Caught by Jackman at shortstop, though. Hot shot handled over there. And now Jude Harrell will step in with two outs. And a runner on first. Scooter is going to go. That's grounded to short. Jackman fields and fires a loopy throw to first for out number three. So we head to the ninth inning here. Hugh Jacobs is still in the ball game. Maybe trying to get some rest for the rest of that pin. As that's going to be into right field. O'Wugliams tries to get him at the plate. Oh, or sorry, at first base. Just a little later this time though. And now runner on first with nobody out. And that's ball one. Strike to pump. Ducci. One and one. Sorry, one and two. The one two pitch. That's inside. The 2 1 pitch. Couldn't get him to bite. 3 and 2. The 3 2. Grounded to second. Kaufman field on the back end. To Cartman. To Sandbrick. It's a double play. Now two outs and Oakley stiffs is the last out for the Freebooters in this one. Game 22 of the season for the Platypie looks to be all but locked up as it's now 0 and 2 to Oakley stiffs. The 0 2. Couldn't get him to bite. Th uh, one and two. The one two pitch. Strike three! He's a block of ice! And that's another backwards K for the Platypie staff. And that's curtains for the Freebooters. 
12, 7, your final score, your Platypie winning it. Their final box score, 12 runs, 20 hits, 1 error. Some video game numbers there, I tell you what. 7 runs and 14 hits, no errors for the Freebooters. Uh, Von Aceson will get the win, 6 and 2 thirds innings, 12 hits. Allowed just 2 earned runs, a walk, and struck out 4 as his record improves to 3 and 1. Angel Verde will get the loss, can only go 3. Allowed 11 hits, 9 earned runs, and walked a batter. His record falls to 3-1 and one on the year. Now, your Metalhead Software players of the game, Kitty Kaufman, coming up huge today. 4 for 5, a triple, a double, 2 RBIs, and 3 runs score, uh, scored. And what did I say? When Kitty's rolling, the whole team is rolling. They... They really play off her real well. And now uh, Muffin Studwick, 3 for 5 with a homer, a double, 3 ribbies, and 2 runs scored. And finally, Linda Hand, who was 3 for 5, a, had a triple, 2 doubles, and 2 runs scored on the day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this matchup between the Platypie and the Freebooters here. Platypie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. Please subscribe down below and leave a like. This is Cookie Cutter signing off. See ya and have an amazing day.